Ah, what have we here? Hey, buddy. Think fast. What? Hey, you will think fast. Ooh, too slow. Hey, guys, check out what I found. Private, you'd better put that down before somebody gets hit. That's reckless behavior. That was not luck. <laughs> we are dealing with a professional here. Ah, you bitch. I'm gonna get you for this. Oh, come on, guys. It ain't that big a deal. Private? Mate, check this out. <laughs> All the boys laughed at me when I said that I loved cooking. But I'll have the last laugh when the boys taste some of this gorgeous beef cat. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's a knockout. Oh, God damn it. God knows how many hours I've wasted just trying to fix this fucking goddamn piece of shit. <laughs> okay, now that I've got that out of my system, let's get started. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission, the high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This is your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program will not raise any eyebrows. He did not, however, factor me into the equation. If Sodas can bend the rules, then so can I. Good luck, Initiate. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part two of my Hitman beta walkthrough. As Diana has just so helpfully explained, today we find ourselves at a military airfield in Cuba, and we're here to kill a man named Jasper Knight, a Soviet spy who just so happens to have a knack for playing chess. Seems simple enough, so let's not waste any more time and begin by casually strolling into the airfield. Oh no, buddy, you're not coming through here. Like hell I'm not, cunt! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, that wasn't too clever. It is at this point that I should probably mention that it's evident that the challenge system introduced in Hitman Absolution is making a return in the latest installment. One of those challenges is, of course, achieving Silent Assassin, a feat that requires us to kill our target and only our target, hide all bodies, and avoid getting spotted. But in this mission, we also have a slightly more difficult challenge, known as Silent Assassin Suit Only, which, as the name suggests, requires us to meet all of the aforementioned criteria, but to do it all without the use of any disguises. Challenge accepted. As you can see, we're clearly not allowed to just enter the military base, so we're going to have to be sneaky in how we go about gaining access. Thankfully, there's a section of fencing to the left of the main entrance that is free of any barbed wire. So let's climb over that and immediately hide behind this truck where we'll eavesdrop on the conversation being had by the two nearby mechanics. Look, do we really have to do this, all things considered? We're putting a pasty-faced egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kind of think we do. <sighs> I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. Hmm, that definitely sounds like something we'd be interested in looking into a little bit further. So let's take a mental note and come back to it a bit later. For now, we'll wait for the mechanics to walk away and then carefully sneak across the car park before climbing inside the airbase through the open window. We'll then take cover against this doorway and open the door. There are two security guards posted just outside who will definitely spot us unless we divert their attention. So? Hmm. Hey, you see that? Move in, nice and slow. Yes. Once they've been distracted, we'll use our very limited window of time to sneak into the kitchen and swipe this bottle of vodka from the table. Then we'll immediately turn around and exit the building the same way we entered, just before the security guards return to their post. Now that we've acquired the vodka, we'll make our way back across the car park and use the several parked vehicles as cover as we move towards the boom gate to the left of the building. 
He will climb through the window of the security booth and sneak out of the doorway on the other side. Then we'll quickly sneak our way around the perimeter of the facility, making sure that we keep a relatively wide berth to avoid being noticed by any of the several soldiers stationed outside. When we near the rear of the airbase, we'll turn and carefully sneak towards the drain pipe to the left of the side entrance, taking special care not to draw the attention of the nearby soldier standing with his back to it. After climbing up the drain pipe and shimmying our way along the ledge, we come across an open window that's being obstructed by a soldier standing inside. What the hell? Tempting, but we won't be doing that. Instead, we'll wait outside on the ledge by the drain pipe for the soldier patrolling on the ground below to turn away. Then, we'll proceed to the window and pause until the soldier inside moves away from it and the room inside is clear. God, hurry up! Then we'll climb our way in and walk towards the bathroom to the right. Fuck! Okay, this time before climbing in through the window, we'll wait a little while longer on the ledge outside for the KGB colonel to finish up with whatever the fuck he's doing in the bathroom and get the fuck out of there. When he finally leaves the room, we don't have a lot of time before our target returns with his bodyguard. So we'll immediately enter the bathroom, pick up the rat poison from the counter, and then take cover by the doorway with the door open so that we can keep an eye on things. Eventually our target and his bodyguard will re-enter the room, linger for a little while, and then leave once again, giving us another brief window of opportunity to prepare our trap. Oh, for fuck's sake! GET OUT! Well, alright then. We will begin by walking over to the counter on the far side of the room and placing down the vodka we acquired earlier. We'll then spike the drinking glass on the left with some of the rat poison in our possession. Finally, we'll walk over to the chessboard on the table and move the queen to G3. After which, we'll quickly sneak back into the bathroom and again take cover against the doorway just as Jasper Knight re-enters the room. He eventually takes a glance at his chessboard and notices the move we made. And of course, rather than becoming apprehensive and wondering just who's been tampering with his belongings, he rejoices at the move and has a celebratory drink of vodka from the poisoned glass. Naturally, it doesn't take him long to begin to feel violently ill and start making his way towards the bathroom, which is precisely where we want him. As we wait for the sick bastard to slowly limp towards his imminent doom, let's check out some of the other ways that we could have killed our friend Jasper Knight if we weren't gunning for the silent assassin's suit only achievement. In order to do that, we're going to need to get ourselves a decent disguise. So let's rewind a little bit, back to the point where we're standing on the ledge outside. Remember that soldier that was obstructing the window? Well, he's going to make himself useful by lingering in the room just long enough... <laughs> for us to knock him the fuck out. Then we'll drag him into the bathroom, dump him in the container and take his clothes. Now that we have our disguise, let's have a look around, shall we? G'day mate, you're so fucking dead. After we exit Jasper's office, we'll head down the stairs, through the door on the left and approach the reception area where we'll come across two security guards having a conversation about the projector slides sitting on the desk. Let's stop and have a listen, shall we? Yeah, I snuck a peek, so shoot me. They might just do that. Those are military secrets. Huh, bunch of projector slides, travel route or something. Pretty dull, really. Well, there's a soldier coming by to fetch him, so stay clear, okay? Friendly advice. All right, I hear you. After the security guards finish their conversation, we'll approach the desk and pick up the slides they were talking about. Then we'll walk through the nearby double doors, up the staircase and through the office block until we reach the projector setup to the left of the room. Now we'll place the slides on the projector, switch it on and wait very fucking patiently. Eventually, both our target and the KGB colonel will come to view and discuss the slides being displayed on the screen. Good grief. You people don't piss about, do you? It's not the Concord. But it'll do the trick. And... 
my Sharon. At this point, we'll walk outside to the power box on the wall and cut the power to the projector, causing it to shut off. Stratosphere. Then we'll walk back inside and watch as the pair try to work out what's going on. Well, I minored in engineering. This should be as easy as falling off a log. Hmm. Could be the power switch. Only one way to find out. Hello, recruit. What the fuck? Forgotten how to be Russian all of a sudden, have you, mate? Checking the power switch, eh? Well, if that's the problem, then whatever you do, make sure that you warn me before you- Ha! Ah! Huh? <laughs> 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 and we didn't even really have to do anything. Alternatively, we can beat the Colonel to the punch and simply switch the power back on ourselves. But why get our hands dirty if we don't need to? Another way that we can introduce Jasper Knight to the Grim Reaper involves giving him a slight headache. After exiting Jasper's hangout, rather than heading downstairs, we'll instead take the staircase to the upper level and walk outside. Then we'll walk over to and pick up the crowbar off the box, climb the nearby scaffolding, and then inside through the window. Here we find ourselves on a platform overlooking the hangar with a light fixture on each side and a walkway just beneath us. A walkway that Jasper Knight visits regularly to kill time and sneak in a cheeky durry. So with our crowbar at the ready, we'll move to the left hand side light fixture, patiently wait for our target to walk beneath it, dislodge the light and... Miss him entirely. Let's try that again. I can't believe it's been almost 60 seconds since my last cigarette. Looks like I'll be able to cut back down to 40 packs a day after- ah! yeah. Fucking finally! Or to speed up the process a little bit, we can join Mr. Knight on the balcony, make sure that no one's looking, and... Ah! Ah! Throw the cunt over the rail. Anyway, that's enough exploration for one day. Let's get back to our Silent Assassin suit only playthrough. Now, where were we? Oh yes, that's right. As Jasper nears our position, we'll briefly hide in the nearby container until he enters the bathroom and starts throwing his guts up. Then, we'll climb out of the container and prepare to make our move. Much better. Thank heavens it's over. That could have been a whole lot- <laughs> Checkmate, bitch. Now we'll stash Jasper's body in the container and quickly hide in there with him just as the KGB colonel enters the bathroom to check himself out in the mirror. Oh, and by the way, it appears that the Colonel is so captivated by his own reflection that he's completely oblivious to everything else. Oh yes, I'm looking rather savage in my sexy uniform. Okay, that's enough self-admiration for a few minutes. What the- Take that, you egotistical fuckwit! Ugh, how dare you strike the Colonel of the KG- Shut your mouth! Huh? Hello? I think we might need an ambulance down here. I just found someone on the ground. Hmm. Where's his gun? Ah, there it is. Oh, you got lucky, mate. You, hey, not so this much. Is more serious <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're starting to get a little carried away now. Getting back to business, we'll stay hidden in the container until the Colonel finishes checking himself out and leaves the bathroom. Then, we'll climb our way out, equip a coin, and open the bathroom door. As you can see, Jasper's personal bodyguard is still in the room, clearly unaware that his services are no longer required. 
Seeing as though he completely lacks any peripheral vision whatsoever, we'll take cover against the wall by the window and watch the patrolling soldier outside. When he turns and walks away, it's time to make our move. We'll start by using the coin we equipped moments ago to distract the bodyguard blocking the window. Hmm. Jasper's taking a suspiciously long time in that bathroom. I wonder if he's okay. Who? A coin? Fuck that cunt, I'm rich! As the soldier moves to retrieve the coin, we'll take the opportunity to slip out of the same window we entered through, shimmy our way along the ledge, slide down the drain pipe, and quickly sneak around the outer perimeter of the airbase until we reach the security booth, where we'll enter through the doorway and climb out of the window on the other side. We will then carefully sneak our way around the parked vehicles before climbing back over the fence to exit the restricted area. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of part two of Let's Fucking Play The Hitman Beta. Wait, I forgot something. One last way that we could have ended the life of our friend, Mr. Knight. Remember that conversation between the two mechanics that we listened in on at the beginning of the mission? Well, if we venture to the ground level of the hangar, we can examine this clipboard detailing the test procedure of the jet safety equipment. A test that Jasper Knight must complete before he can make his exit. Our next step is to acquire a mechanics uniform. Like so. <laughs> then we'll make our way to the right hand side of the jet, pick up the wrench from the table and enable the ejector seat. Following that, we'll head upstairs and intercept Jasper as he makes his way to the hangar balcony for yet another cigarette. Jasper Knight? We gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Ugh. Oh, must we really? Yes, we must. We will then lead him back downstairs to the jet and commence the safety test. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Uh-huh. All right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one, strap yourself in. Uh, okay. All strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, just a moment. Uh, yes, found it. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Right. Step four. Prepare yourself, motherfucker, because you're about to get blown sky fucking high! Yeah! Well, that confirms it. Clearly, all of the jet safety equipment is in good working order. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my two part walkthrough of the Hitman beta. I hope that you all enjoyed the videos as much as I enjoyed bringing them to you, and I look forward to getting stuck into the first episode of Hitman when it's released next week. That's all from me for now, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. Hell fucking yeah.